service or product that you want to get the word out? Are you looking to grow your business and you want everyone to hear the buzz about it? Do you have an amazing project, an idea that impacts our community that you want to share or get others involved in? Then you've come to the right place. You're listening to Community Connections with Norma G. I'm your host, Norma Guerrero, and I want to share your passion while connecting with our community. So now, let's get ready to hear about what's hot, what's new, and what's happening on Community Connections with Norma G. Give us a call at 888-565-1470 and join our conversation. Good evening, listeners. You're welcome to the show, Community Connections with Norma G. I'm your host, Norma Guerrero, and I'm so happy to be here tonight because we have a very, very special guest. Her name is Faith Washington, and good evening, Faith. Thank you so much Hi, for coming Norma. in. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Faith Washington is a CEO. She's a pharmacist. She's a certified strength and conditioning specialist. She's a certified physical trainer, a professional life and business coach, and a best-selling author of her book, Business Leaders Success, an introduction to elite business leaders. And we're going to talk about her book and just talk about a lot of different things that are happening in her life and some of her Um, current passions and the areas that she's working in and I personally am very excited to get into that and learn a little bit more about her so join me for the ride everyone Faith how are you tonight (laughs) great thank you Norma (laughs) oh thank you so much for coming in Um, oh and by the way if you want to listen in tonight you can reach us at um, you can listen in on 1470 AM radio at iHeartRadio on your iHeartRadio app at 1470 WNN and if you want to watch us live right now you can stream us at amp Two. TV, that's AMP, number two, TV, on your Facebook, and you can watch us live tonight. And if you have any questions, you can call and reach us at 888-565-1470, and Faith would be happy to answer them for you. So, Faith, I did a little, you know, a little looking up on you this okay. these last few days just to kind of learn a little bit more about you. I met you, you know, a couple of weeks ago, and I was super inspired when I met you, and I know that our listeners tonight are going to learn a little bit more about you about you and I want to kind of let them know uh, about who you are and so okay. tell me a little bit about your uh, background in pharmacy just to kind of because I know okay. that's your um, your major background but I love the fact that you are have that knowledge and that you went to school where did you go to school Purdue University oh and that's in Indiana yes it is that's, that's where wonderful. I grew up. So. Is it, oh, is that yeah, where you grew up? Great, yeah. great, great. Yeah. When, when, how long have you been in Florida? Um, I've been down here since 1990, so good long time. Uh, so you've yeah. worked in this area for a yeah. long time. Yeah. And what I found fascinating um, that you started to have, I believe, this transition into um, physical physical strength training and conditioning. Yeah, that started probably around 90. 90, 91, when I got down here. When is that kind of, did that kind of happen simultaneously while you were working as a pharmacist? I think very organically because while I was going to school, I spent a lot of time working out. I did boxing. Okay. I worked out in the weight room for three years before another female ever showed up. So (laughs) physical conditioning is just something that I really enjoy and I'm very passionate about. It's really how I live my life. I've always stayed in really great shape because I know that life is a marathon and if I don't, I'm going to feel miserable. So I always advocate that for my patients. When I was on the bench as a retail pharmacist, um, I spent a lot of time with patients consulting them that food is medicine, that it isn't just about the drugs, that the more drugs they take, the less healthy they're going to be. But if they will eat well and exercise Mm -hmm. with their bodies, even if it's just minimal, even if you just walk, you know, it's one of the greatest things that you can do for your health. So, so while you're actually doing the physical training, you're actually be able to bring that knowledge and that background that you have from the pharmacy right. and able to start connecting it into a healthy lifestyle. Right. And so is, is that how you kind of fell into this natural, not just the physical coaching, but now the actual uh, professional coaching? Right. Yeah. It's just all been organic. It's, it's really gone from the pharmacy, which was originally, you know, medicine and, and hard science, things like that. And then moving into the arena of the physical fitness and then marrying that with, I started to study all sorts of alternative, holistic health, um, different types of methods of healing the body. And I just married that and used it on all my patients. And do you have to get some sort of qualification or any type of... Oh, you get the certifications for the certified strength and conditioning specialist. Mm -hmm. Um, Same thing with the certified personal trainer. Um, And that's their... Just simple certifications. However, if you continue to study and keep up with it, mm-hmm. then you're always learning. 
you never stop learning. Just like with pharmacy, I have two different licenses. I'll do 60 hours of continu- continuing education because I like to, because I want to keep up with my profession. But when you're talking about this life coaching, you're now kind of moving into another area right. that's not the physical training type of coaching. Right. So this is, how would you... How would you describe what a life coach is? Life and business coach is someone who helps to shift another person's thinking so that they view themselves differently and they also view everyone else differently as well. In other words, if you're stuck one way and then you allow yourself to shift and go in a different direction, Mm -hmm. you're still the same person. You're more of who you really are because you get rid of some of the obstacles and the barriers that you have to connecting to other people. That's really what it's about. It's about removing those obstacles so that you are more fully connected to yourself Mm -hmm. and to others. Now, I I think that that, that's, it's very inspiring to think that you can walk people through different aspects of their life to actually make them a better, better you, a better yourself. And just help. It must be very rewarding. It is. It's wonderful it's when they have rewarding. those when they have those aha moments of, wow, I get it now. I I get it. I I I did this last week. I used this last week, and what we worked on, and and I can't believe how this works with my family. It's like liberating. It's liberating. So, how would you describe what the difference is? Because there may be people out there that may be asking themselves, okay. I've heard of psychology. I've heard of counseling and therapy. How does this differentiate from that, from from life life coaching? What do you call it? Business and life coaching? Business and life coaching. uh Professional business and life coaching. How do you differentiate those two fields? Because I know each thing has its purpose. Right. But how, how would you articulate that? Well, deep coaching is going to allow me not to buy into your stories. Your stories are the things that you're continuously running in your head. They're the programs that you've had since childhood that hold you back. Kind of like excuses? Bingo. But some of them are much more Or deeply, obstacles? Right. Some of them are even more deeply rooted. Psychology or, or psychiatry would probably be able to help someone in that arena. However, coaching is when you know you're here and you really should be here and you know that you can be here, and coaching removes the obstacles. So... I don't buy into the stories. I let you know I'm going to serve you, but we're we're not having any stories. So it's basically it's time to. There's a time and a place for everything. Absolutely, there's a time and a place. Agreed. And I know that that um, psychology, psychiatry, you know, there are definitive, you know, psychological and psychiatric yes. disorders that do require, um, you know, getting into those stories and things that they get people that whether. Um, it's some sort of t- type of therapy. You know, we don't need to explain what that is exactly, right. but certainly it has its time. It's, it serves its purpose for its time and place. But you're referring to a coaching where it's like almost like you're on the field. I want to get you better. I want to see you um, succeed. I want to see you excel. And you don't necessarily have to be of ill mindset mm-hmm. at you all. Could be, you could be right. the top. And, that's, those are the people that I work with. I usually right. work with really top level people who recognize that they really want to be up here. And that's what I find fascinating is that sometimes people think they need a therapy or coaching or someone to guide them because something's wrong in their life. It's really more you could actually be fine, but you actually want to just get to another level. Right. And so sometimes having a mentor or a coach is is actually kind of sometimes a smart thing to add to your life. It's a very Wise. It's a very wise thing to It's a life. very wise move. All I can say is I did it for myself, and it made such— You did it for yourself? I, absolutely. I have two coaches. How did you I, How did you find that you needed it? Like, what? how did that organic experience kind of enter your life? I was transitioning. I knew that I wanted to do something completely different. I wanted to do a 180 from what I had been doing. As a VP of pharmacy operations for a company, I recognized, you know, something— it's still pharmacy. It's still, I, I need something more to marry all the things in my life and, and create synergy for other people. And doing the coaching actually provides exactly that. It allows me to work with people who know what they know and they don't know what they don't know. And those obstacles are the things that we just move out of the way. And then they recognize, oh, 
that's what was stopping me from moving forward. I guess it's almost kind of like you can be successful. You can be um, living a life that's, you know, not necessarily that bad. But there can be some blind spots that you cannot identify yourself unless. So you almost have to be open to Mm -hmm. constructive criticism (laughs) (laughs) or constructive guidance in order to remove those blind spots that you can even live an even better life. Exactly. It's just being open and willing and looking in the mirror. Most people struggle with looking in that mirror and going, wow, that's real. Right now, in this moment, looking at this one particular thing, it's not very pleasant. But then when you recognize, once you look at it and you confront it, and it's right there, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. Mm. And then you move right past it. And then you think, why did that cause me so many problems over the years? And the blind sets may, may, be become, may, be, may exist in your life, again, not because you're a closed down person. Right. It could be because you're just doing the same routine every day. And habit. if you're just dr- habit and if you're habit. just driving the same road, you don't even notice that that sign's there yes. because you just drive past it and you're kind of like on autopilot. Well, Faith, we're going to take a little break <laughs> okay. right now. we got to take a little break. If someone wants to get a hold of you, how do we get a hold of you? You can go to my email, which is faithwashington, the number four, the letter U, at gmail.com, or my phone number is 561 702 3986. Wonderful. So you're listening to Community Connections with Norma G, and we'll be right back. And we're going to come back. And uh, there's a couple of questions that you may be thinking while you're listening. Are you a business owner or a professional looking for f- fulfillment from your work? Is something missing? Are you passionate about something but stuck where you are? When we come back, we're going to be talking about those things. Thank you. Times are tough, and right now those in the commercial world know that being heard via advertisements is the name of the game. AmpSquare.tv understands how important advertisement is and is proud to express that it's truly the only plugged-in internet television production company on the market. Amp2.tv live streams all their shows across all the major selling markets in the U.S. and abroad. Call them at 866 224 54 the AmpSquare.tv library allows productions to be seen over and over again, making commercial platforms more usable. Call 866-224-5422. Toll free 866-224-5422. Amp2.tv, the first and only internet television network that's truly plugged in. 866-224-5422. That's A-M-P, the number two, dot TV. Thank you for listening to Community Connections with Norma G. We're the place where we talk about your business, a product, an idea, or a project, and get the word out to our community. I'm your host, Norma Guerrero. Today, we are sharing your passion while connecting with our community. Give us a call at 888-565-1470 and join our conversation. Don't forget to tune in every Monday night at 6.30 to join me, Norma G., and the guests to find out what's hot, what's new, and what's happening in our community. Now, let's rejoin Community Connections with Norma G. Welcome back to Community Connections with Norma G. We're speaking with life, business, and professional coach, Faith Washington. And before our break, we were talking about are there certain areas of your life at a higher level that you may be asking yourself, what could I be better at? And so we're going to be talking about that. Faith, when I was reading some of your um, paperwork, you had a statement that said self-driven people need to get out of their way. What does that mean, like self, self-driven? self Because usually self-driven people, they're kind of moving things out of their way to continue to progress. What do you mean they need to get out of their way? Because sometimes they're their own worst enemy. They will move to a certain point, and then they're blocked, and they don't know why. And they think, oh, well, I'm doing everything I can to get past this, but it's not happening. And that's an internal block. That's something that they don't see, they're not aware of, and as soon as you move it out of the way, then it's no longer a fear, a concern, it's not an obstacle, it's something that they've been able to overcome, and they'll shoot right past whatever their goal is. And so, how do people, um, do you find that most people, when people reach out to you, mm-hmm. is that they're, they're, maybe their business isn't doing well, or maybe something in their personal life isn't doing well, or is it sometimes 
people just are kind of just wise enough to seek counsel. So sometimes it's a little bit of, of all of those things. Sometimes people are just curious. They're not really sure. Well, almost well, like a check-in, yeah, a check-up. Yeah, kind of like, like, well, what do you really do? And, and, and my thing is always to have at least a, a strategy call and hear someone. Let me hear. Is it something that they could use or that they need? Yeah, it's a possibility for everyone. But it depends on what they're willing to do internally for themselves. Sure, sure, If they sure. can see the possibility, I stand certain. I know that I can help anyone who's willing. And that's really what conversation is about, is to hear them fully, because I see them as whole and complete. I don't see anyone as broken. They don't need to be fixed. They don't need anything. They just simply aren't seeing things, and the world isn't occurring to them in such a way that they have personal power. They've, they've lost a little bit of that in whatever it is that they're so it's almost like no, you're not re rebuilding it. You're almost like reigniting some oh. areas in their life that they don't even realize are dormant. Right. Not so much areas or inner strengths in order to to kind of progress forward. Mm -hmm. Because that, you can't tap into something if it's blind and you don't even know that it's there, perhaps. Right. So right. at what point did you kind of transition into being an author? <laughs> you know, and what is this book about? <laughs> business Leader Success, an introduction to elite business leaders. You have a beautiful picture of Faith here on the front cover. And what is this book about? Well, it's actually about leadership. I'm very passionate about that. I spent a lot of years as a leader in with different teams building multi-million dollar pharmacies. Mm -hmm. So it, it's something that I think is very important, that you have to be self-aware. You have to be aware of others. You have to be vulnerable. You have to be able to deliver messages to your team so that they are excited to do whatever it is that you're doing, whether it's pharmacy or or some other business. And so I, I wrote this because this was one of my obstacles, was just thinking that I could accomplish writing, mm -hmm. writing a book, putting something out there. And so I did it. You did I'm it. Working on another one. Well, oh, really? Really? <laughs> yes. So is, does this book encompass some of the life coaching or is it just strictly just kind of more on the, from a leadership it, perspective? It's, it's both. It's, it's both. both because it's a combination. You, as, as a, a life and business coach, you lead by example. My life and how I conduct myself and do what I do for other people has to be that spot on and, and be an in integrity so that the people that I lead will be able to follow that. Wow, wow. So how do we find this book? Where can we find this book, Business Leaders and Success? It's actually on Lulu, L-U-L-U dot com. Lulu dot uh -huh. com. And you just look up the name Business Leader Success Volume 3, or, or you can pull it up by my la by my first and last name. Faith Washington, uh -huh. Business, Business Leader Success, an introduction uh -huh. to Elite Business Leaders Volume 3. So get your copy, and I'm going to get my copy and take a read at it as well, <laughs> because I would love to improve those skills in myself as well. So now we were talking on the phone and you, t you, you, I know you care a lot about women. You care a lot yes. about health yes. and what supplement should women be taking every day? If I had to pick one, if you had right, to pick one right now, no matter where you live, vitamin D, vitamin D. Vitamin so D. what is vitamin D? Get your levels checked first, of course, but vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin that is found in almost all biochemical processes within the body. So if you're lacking vitamin D, it can lead to many different disease states, diabetes, heart disease, many of the different issues that people will encounter on a daily basis if they don't take care of themselves. But it's really, really important. Um, it's one of the things that I would recommend every patient that I saw when I was on the bench that they should take it. When someone is vitamin D deficient. Yes, get your levels checked first from your physician and then begin taking it. Absolutely. And when, is that when sometimes people say, oh, you should go sit outside in the sun for a little bit so you get a little vitamin D? The problem is, is that if you're going to wear sunscreen, it's not going to be absorbed <laughs> That's properly. That's another show right? for dermatology, Thank which you. we spoke about exactly. a few weeks ago. Exactly, exactly. Yes, so. I actually did. And so, yeah, he talked a lot about that, too. He yes. actually, um, was doctor, I had Dr. Schillinger on the show, uh -huh. and he talked about if you're going to do anything just to coincide with that notion of get your sun for some vit vitamin D, he said do it be be, don't do it between the hours of 10 and 2. Right. He right. said, be, and try Intense. and do that run or mow that lawn before 10 o'clock or mm -hmm. after 2 p.m. 
just from a from a skin, especially since we all live mm-hmm. in Florida, we know how hot it is. Yes, here. and so. Vitamin D, is that different than, I mean, not is it, I know it's different than vitamin C. Mm -hmm. If you were to have another supplement that, you know, that women should be taking, what what would be your next one after that? I would probably say if you're over the age of 30, you need magnesium. And the best form of magnesium is magnesium glycinate. It's the most, right, it's the most well-absorbed magnesium. And it's kind of a, a, a type of dosing that you want to titrate it. So you start out with one pill for a week and then take two pills for a week. And if you get diarrhea, you back off one tablet and you're at your dose. Um, And then if you could go for three or four months or three or four weeks and you may get diarrhea again and you back off another tablet or take a half a tablet. Yeah, you gotta monitor how much you're Uh taking so that you don't upset your stomach. And then bringing me back to the vitamin D again, the, that was magnesium glycinate. Glycinate. Uh Right. Going back to vitamin D, I know that's broken down into the, you're going to have to help me on the levels. Isn't it 500 or 1,000? Or how mm-hmm. is that broken yeah, down? Yeah, the vitamin D just depends on if it's going to be with, uh, with calcium. They'll usually use like 500 uh, IUs of the vitamin D with calcium, or you know they may use more than that. It just depends on the formulation. But usually 2,000 IUs of vitamin D by itself is the 2, minimum. 2,000? 2,000 IUs. 2, minimum. Mm-hmm. And what does IU stand for? International units. It's just the measure. Oh, just, that, just the measure. Right, it's the measure okay. that vitamin D is measured in. Like magnesium is milligrams. Um, vitamin E is in IUs, which are international units. Well, that's just incredible that you, you know, as I spent this time with you and I got to know you a little bit better about your background and your heart for these different areas of your life, it just seems as if if someone were to have the honor and the pleasure to sit down with you, and it seems like you're getting a lot of knowledge, mm-hmm. and that's why I kind of wanted to just acknowledge the fact that you um, are, you know, pharmacist, that you have that ed- education in pharmacology and in medicine, because we all know that not only our interpersonal emotions and everything could be giving us blocks, but also our physical health. You know, could be you know, uh, you know, affecting you know our blocks, and then that's could be affected by the medicine that we're taking, whether it's the mm-hmm. right or wrong medicine, and or whether or not we're exercising enough. But then also the emotional, and then you have a leadership component. So, if you were to sit down and speak with with Faith at, in the role as as a, as a consult for her to be your life and professional business coach. Um, it just seems that you're not just sitting down with just someone that just wants to, if you will, kind of, that's the word I want to use, to just just talk back and forth. But she actually has a little bit of background and substance and, and a huge yes. background and substance <laughs> yes. and knowledge that can really help you in multiple areas of your life. So, you know, I think that you're a very special woman and that you're very, you know, very gifted and knowledgeable. And so I think that many people may benefit from your services. I'm sure that you already are. And so I'm so glad that you took the time today to, um, to sit with us and to let our, let our listeners find out and learn about you. And once again, Faith, could you tell our listeners how, if they want to get a hold of you, yes. how do they find you? <laughs> Absolutely. Go to my email, which is faithwashington, the number four, the letter U, at gmail.com. And my phone number is 561-702-3986. And Faith, do you do any speaking engagements? Absolutely. Yes. And so have you done any recently as of late, or do you have any scheduled on the, on uh, the books? I have none scheduled at the moment. My schedule has kind of filled up with things that I wasn't anticipating, but I'm very happy about. Sure, But sure. yes, absolutely. If someone wants me to come, just just call. Call, Wonderful. email me. I'd be happy to. So the, I'd love that's, to. So she's out there. If you have an event, do you have any type of... Um, leadership um, type of um, in-service that you'd like to kind of promote for your business. You know, it sounds like she'd be interested in speaking to your your company, your employees. And so give her a call. And thank you again, everyone, for listening to Community Connections with Norma G. We'll be back next Monday at 630. And again, you can reach us on at, where can you reach us? Just to get it straight at, because I always say it, but at 1470 WNN on your AM dial and on Facebook at Amp2TV. And thanks again. If you have to, any questions for me, you can reach me at ccnormagy at gmail.com. See you next week. Thank you. 
You've been listening to Community Connections with Norma G. We'll be back next Monday at 6.30 with a new guest to share about what's hot, what's new, and what's happening in our community. Did you hear something you liked today on our show? Please contact me, Norma G, at 954-802-2015. I look forward to helping you expand your business, project, or idea and connect with our community. That's 954-802-2015. The opinions expressed on the preceding sponsored program were strictly those of its hosts, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of the station, its staff, management, or sponsors.